When Grant Cardone first dipped his toes into the waters of the financial advice dispensing business, he sounded remarkably like another financial guru we all know and love, Dave Ramsey. He was literally a Dave Ramsey in embryo. It was all about pinching pennies and avoiding debt. And then Grant changed somewhere along the way. And I'm not talking about tiny changes on the margins. I'm talking a full-blown 180-degree shift in his financial planning worldview. Let's take a look at a clip from our friends at CoffeeZilla to watch the transformation. Look, I'm so worried about you right now. The savings rate this month hit a low of 2.7%. This is a unbelievable and ridiculous warning sign that I told you about last week. The person that has $236. Invest it all in yourself. You're already broke. Don't hold on to $236. Our parents, they taught us to save money. You know? Yeah, this 100%. Is stupid. I want to bank cash, man. I need money. I need emergency funds. A safety net is one of the first goals any investor should establish in the fund. We recommend that everyone should save regularly towards some kind of safety net. It just doesn't make any sense. Save your money. Prepare for a rainy day. It don't rain here. I need to treat money like it's sacred. The savings rate in this country was over 6.5% for 30 years. Now it's collapsed again. What are you doing? I'll never forget. These guys pay $12,000 each to sit in that chair. Three days, I got to look at their ugly faces. Look, man, you're spending money on junk when you don't need it. Look at my little, look at my little, my little things, man. I got, I know guys walking around with five and six hundred dollar headphones, and I got my little freebies that came, came with my phone. Why? What's the difference? So this is a 13 passenger Gulfstream. Uh, it retails for about sixty-one million dollars. Truth is, most people don't like money. I know they don't like money. You know how I know they don't like money? Because as soon as you get some, you get rid of. It. You buy shit with it. I mean, it's crazy when you start putting stuff on a jet. It's bizarre, like this door was not in here. This door right here, believe it or not, costs $850,000 to put in. America is back to the savings rate that it was at back when we had this problem in 2008, when people were buying Porsches and cars and country clubs. Dude, it's, it was out of hand. Uh, 10 years ago, all they used in these planes was really dark, heavy wood. Um, probably cost a million dollars to replace the wood. You know, my father told me when I was six years old, he said, watch the pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves. Okay, help me out here. A penny saved is? A penny is a penny. Okay, your mama got real complicated here. A penny is a penny, and if you spend time with them, you'll end up with nothing. When you watch pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters, when you watch that, you're gonna pay attention to the bigger flows. People that are not disciplined with money don't end up with money. People that waste money on dumb things don't end up with money. There's something universal about money. Waste it, somebody else gets it. So if you're down to your last $1,000, this, yeah. this offer today is $9.97, grantcardone.com forward slash shark. Okay? Yeah. You're down, a guy's sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should he spend it on this? Absolutely. Okay, so clearly we can see that somewhere along the line, Grant Cardone changed his worldview. Maybe there wasn't enough money in the get out of debt, pinch your pennies, financial advice industry, or maybe Dave Ramsey cast too long a shadow. But clearly Cardone made a strategic decision to transition to a, you can't get really rich without taking on a lot of debt approach to finances. Here's a clip where you can see Grant beginning to peel away from the Ramsey message that used to be his stock and trade. What are your thoughts on Dave Ramsey? Great guy, very conservative. He's trying to get people out of debt. Nothing wrong with Dave's advice. People use credit cards too much in this country. They buy homes they shouldn't be buying. They buy cars they shouldn't buy. They borrow money for Gucci belts and try to pretend to be somebody they're not. By the way, I don't think most Americans suffer from that. Most Americans suffer from saving money too much. Most Americans suffer because they're too conservative and they don't take enough risk. For those that want to get wealthy, at some point you're going to leave Dave's advice and you're going to start watching what wealth 
wealthy people do. I'm not going to take Dave's advice to build a real estate portfolio. If you want to build a $4 billion real estate portfolio, you're going to have to use debt. Okay, so at this point, Dave Ramsey is still a good guy, has good advice, but he's not the guy you want to follow if you want to build a massive real estate portfolio. Why? Because you can't do it unless you have a lot of debt. Getting out of debt and saving for retirement is no longer the purview of Grant Cardone. His penny-pinching days are long gone. The Dave Ramsey worldview is now clearly in his rearview mirror. But Grant Cardone didn't stop there. Let's see where he now stands with his tortured relationship with the Dave Ramsey financial worldview. Well, I think Dave's good for people that want to stay in the middle class. Yeah. You know, if you want to stay in the middle class, you know, good. If that's your goal in life to be in the middle of anything, I'm not peanut butter. I don't really want to be, I've already, I grew up in the middle, middle of a crowd does not seem like conducive to my survivability. I don't want my kids to be middle kids, but I want to take my family to the top. So if you want to be in the middle, pay your debt off. You want to get to the top? Learn to use debt. Okay, so now Grant Cardone has completely broken free of the Dave Ramsey approach to finances. If you follow Dave Ramsey's advice, you are necessarily consigning yourself to a middle-class existence. You will never break out and your life experience will always be middling and mediocre. So Grant Cardone basically started out as a Dave Ramsey acolyte and somewhere along the way he abandoned the no debt worldview and has gone all in on the debt is good approach to building wealth. And that has put him in diametrical opposition to the one person after whom he modeled his own financial worldview at the outset, Dave Ramsey. So who offers the best worldview here, Ramsey or Cardone? My strong belief is that the truth lies somewhere in the middle. It's good to stay out of personal debt like Ramsey advises, but in contrast to Ramsey, I wouldn't be in any hurry to pay off your house, especially if you have a mortgage rate that's lower than 6%. After taxes, that rate feels more like 4%, and there's no reason to pay off a debt that's only costing you 4%. You can do far better in the stock market over time. Conversely, if you want to build a real estate empire, personal debt is still bad, but you're going to have to use leverage dollars along the way, and that runs a fast of Dave Ramsey's worldview. Me personally, where do I land on this continuum? Am I closer to Ramsey or Cardone? Well, like Ramsey, I'm a big fan of the slow and steady process of becoming a millionaire through stock market investing. Save anywhere from 10 to 50% of your income in Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks. Have it zapped right out of your paycheck every month between now and when you retire. Unlike real estate, there's a low hassle factor and the longer your investment horizon, the more likely you'll experience a high enough rate of return to turn you into a multimillionaire by the time you retire. And there's nothing middle class about that. Folks, my upcoming book, The Guru Gap, How America's Financial Gurus Are Leading You Astray and How to Get Back on Track is now available for pre-order on Amazon. Take the opportunity to order your copy today. By the way, in the next 10 years, I'm looking to put 1 million Americans on the road to the 0% tax bracket. If you would like some help implementing a balanced, comprehensive approach, to tax-free retirement that shields you from the impact of higher taxes, head on over to davemcknight.com and click on the Connect with an Advisor button. I'm happy to refer you to an advisor in the Powers Your Network that has been trained, vetted, and qualified personally by me. If you're a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Powers Your Advisor, head over to powersyour.com and opt into my free video series. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below and I'll do my very best to respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.